the Kirk and Dick Show. <laughs> to the middays, from 10 to 2. Our next guy is actually someone, I guess he couldn't find the time to make it here for the launch of the station, but we're going to have to introduce him anyway. But he's got a good excuse. He's actually covering the Summer Olympics in London. His writing career started in 1978. A couple of stops later in 1990, he landed in what is now the Tampa Bay Times, where he became a columnist. He's Gary Shelton. Bay will know well. In 2011, he was the pre and post game host for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He has also served the same role, although be in a co hosting role with Jim Lightall, for the last five years with the USF Bulls football team. He's known as the Commish, he's Justin Pulowski. <laughs> from 2 to 6, a 20-year veteran of Sports Talk Radio, a Tampa Bay resident who launched his Tampa local radio show to national ventures with ESPN Radio and Yahoo Sports Radio, as well as television stints, including Sun Sports and the Golf Channel. He's Todd Wright. Someone very familiar to Buccaneer fans, like Chris Damon, a two-time Stanley Cup winner, this former defensive lineman is a two-time Super Bowl champion. His first coming with the Bucks in 2003, he was a second, uh, his second one came under Tony Dungy for the Indianapolis Colts. The 15th overall pick by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 1999, it's Anthony Booger McFarland. <laughs> That's plenty. As a matter of fact, 12 hours live of local talk, that's already more than any other station in Tampa Bay has. But why stop there? We will tell you from 6 to 10 in the evening for the last six seasons, he's been the pre- and post-game voice for the Tampa Bay Rays. His sports radio career can be traced back to the 90s in San Francisco. He's a current analyst for MLB Radio. He'll bring his baseball knowledge to the fan. It's Rich Herrera. <laughs> Seven, the fan is going to have an opportunity to have another Tampa Bay Area resident whose sports talk radio career is going on her 30th year. With numerous national shows, including the beginning of ESPN Radio, as well as local Tampa Bay shows as part of her stops, she's been named as one of the 40 most influential women ever in sports broadcasting. 98.7 The Fan is bringing the fabulous sports page to the fans of Tampa Bay overnights from 1 to 6. <laughs> introducing a new concept for the Tampa Bay fan. Since we are the station of the fan, we need a voice of the fan. Our lead reporter, our female voice of the station, and our liaison to the fan is also a local Tampa Bay product, the very first Hooters girl ever, and a sports talk radio veteran since 1999, it's Lynn Austin. Yeah. 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 Once again, any other local Tampa Bay sports or talk station would be happy with 12 hours. We're giving it to you for 24 hours when we don't have live play-by-play -play programming. But that's only possible because of our sponsors. And before our other special announcement, I'd like to mention one of those in particular who was our very first one who's helping bring the next two hours to you, fan, to the fan, commercial-free. Hooters will be the sponsor of our Hooters Hotline. Where all of our Seven, the fan will be on the Hooters hotline, and we're going to call out for our studios for our fans to hear. Of course, 11 great Bay Area locations for you to enjoy. Uh, and again, we're going to be able to announce a lot of these other sponsors are doing that. Justin will have that for you. 
But it is a day of big announcements, and it's about to get even bigger. I did not really mention that we're here live at the Leroy Selman Athletic Center in the Big East Room on the campus of the University of South Florida, where we are bringing you this two-hour commercial free broadcast. But for that big announcement, it is the debut of Sports Radio 98.7 The Fan, and I'd like to turn it over to our CBS Radio Tampa's market manager, Ben Hill. Yeah. As Coach Skip Holt said yesterday at a luncheon, the bricks and mortar of a brand new facility are great, but it's the people who make a team. The university looks for players who want to be good, and they look for people who want to win. I'm thrilled that Sports Radio 98.7 The Fan is joining the Bulls team. To make this announcement, I would like to bring up Doug Willard, the athletic director at the University of South Florida. Ben. And, and, and I want to give you uh, your very first team jersey. USF Athletics has had a lot of positive momentum lately, haven't we? Yeah. We've had uh, we've had several significant announcements. Uh, whether that's uh, announcing success of student athletes, uh, of coaches, uh, of our.